Hey guys, how's it going? Good, okay. good. How are you? I'm good. I'm still on a high from seeing you on the Sunset Strip at the Roxy this week. And then the next morning, I woke up to the news that you're putting out, I don't know how many years it's been since you've had an album, but somewhere between the power lines and the palm trees is coming out in October. Well, I'm wondering how it feels to properly be back, because when I had a brief chance to chat with you guys uh, after the very successful sold out Roxy show, I remember actually specifically you Keanu like I was like oh it went really well and you're like yeah I think so like you were very humble and you mentioned <laughs> something about it maybe taking a moment to feel comfortable on the stage and feel like you were getting into the groove I love performing live and I love playing in the band and playing with Robert and Brett and so that part really the nerves for me is not the audience the nerves for me are like making sure I don't up in support of the band mm. you know, that's you know and the audience i guess but i even feel that pressure when i'm rehearsing but uh but it's a really great pressure you know it's like you want to do your best for your loved ones playing you know can you tell me about those early days again you know there's always going to be skepticism when you know there's someone who's famous in the band i mean our early gigs were fun I mean, I think even, I mean, for me, um, through the journey of the band and playing live, people have had fun at our shows. I think that comment of we weren't very good came from me, um, so. which wasn't a really nice thing to say. Um, we've all been, we've always been super sincere and doing what we do. From my point of view on it, it seemed that it was easier this time because there were no expectations and no nothing put on us by a record company or no expectations at all from either of us to each other other than let's see if it's fun and let's see what sounds come out of the amps and out of the drums and um, and that's it you know i mean we're, we're just like let's just show up and show up <laughs> i want to go back to the golden age of the 90s and the genesis of or the the, the beginning of dog star because the first ever weezer gig was with you you opened for weezer at rajis now that's that's history that's la history right there i need to know memories of what it was like that's, and it's a basement it's a dive oh that's history for us but i don't know if that's for them <laughs> we we had never left the you know the say the the garage you know at that time we were up in beechwood canyon in keanu's garage and brett wasn't with us yet so <laughs> um uh we we just we had to get out i mean you know, i remember talking we were talking the three of us and greg and it was like we, eventually you have to play somewhere right but we couldn't even find a band name <laughs> i mean that's how like we were like children like playing with pots and pans and somehow this gig came to us i remember getting there and meeting these guys and and i thought we were going to open up for them <laughs> i didn't even know and i didn't know who they were and but they were really confident and calm and they were great like their first if that was their first show they were great i need to hear about when you guys open for david bowie at the hollywood palladium which is obviously iconic and you know david bowie doesn't just have anyone open for him if he's had you know he has nine nails open for me as susie and the banshees open for him if you're opening for david bowie he's given you i assume his stamp of approval so that's a real big honor. You got to do that. How did that come about? I want to hear all about it. We don't know why he chose us, but when we got there to this, you know, for soundcheck and we got to meet him and everything, I just, I kind of, it kind of made sense. Like, I kind of felt like, I think I know why he just, he was just really curious about us, you know, and he watched our soundcheck and he was a gentleman and he was, you know, he's everything you'd ever think that in your dreams that David Bowie would be in real life. It was exactly like that. Like all the checks, you know, like everything, you know, gentleman, professional, like gracious, you know, brilliant, you know, and just all those things you could think. And, and he just, he was just lovely. And, and uh, he just wanted to help us. He just, he, I felt like he was just really supportive. Like he was just wanted, he saw something in us. And I, I don't know. Uh -huh. That's so cool. Yeah, we were we were having a little bit of trouble with the monitors at Soundcheck trying to get them to sound good. And <laughs> he came over onto the stage and said, Do you do you need more time? I can hold the doors for you. Yeah, do you want me to hold the doors for you? Yeah. And I was yeah. like, David Bowie just talked in my ear. 
<laughs> Did that just happen? Would you like me to hold the tools? I don't even think I answered him. I think I was like frozen. Very okay, cool. So do you think this reunion is going to, like, do you think there'll be another fourth album soon? Like, not, it's not going to be every 20 years from now on, right? Do you think, like, it's going to pick up the pace? We, I hope so. We're halfway through on the next record already. We really? got about five songs written already, and I think we always want to record. Uh, you know, I think we love that aspect of it, too. So uh, whatever schedules end up being in the future, hopefully we can always at least find time to get in and, you know, write and record. Awesome. Well, I look forward to whatever you guys do next, that album, the album after that, the rock opera, the Broadway show, <laughs> the tour with you two, whatever's next, the reunion tour with Weezer. That's the bill I want to see. Woo! Let's hey, make that Weezer. happen. Weezer, on, we'll Weezer. Look for you. Yeah. Let's we do it. Open. Play the Greek. <laughs>